Hi, on today's Crochet Corner, I'm going to show you how to single crochet in a spiral to make this adorable little poodle. Uh, this poodle is begun at the tip of the nose and through increases and then decreases and changing color, you start working up into the head. The head is worked into one piece and then set aside. Then the body is made separately with, uh, with holes for the legs and then the legs instead of being sewn on are actually single crocheted right onto the body and that's what I'd like to show you how to do today. On this sample here we have the head complete already. I'll show you. Here's the head already finished. And then we have the body here. Uh, notice how we have holes here. When we made the body, we made holes for the legs. Um, and you'll see that on the pattern. All of this is really well described in the pattern that you can find on the website. And from these holes here, instead of sewing on the legs, we're going to single crochet into each stitch around that opening and then work in a spiral. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to join the leg. We're going to insert your hook into any of the stitch around the opening for the leg, and you're going to pull up a loop and slip stitch to join your yarn. Then we'll chain one. Just going to have to figure out what's comfortable for you for working into uh, an existing 3D structure here. And then chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. And then you're going to single crochet in each one of these stitches around. But instead of slip stitching to join at the beginning of the round, uh, we're going to work in a spiral, which means that instead of joining, we're just going to continue around and around in circles until we reach the length that, we're, that we need for the legs. Now on this leg here, I've already done that. And what I'd like to show you is that I've put the stitch marker in the post of a, of a stitch at the beginning of my round, a couple rows below. And what that tells me is then it helps me to count how many rows I'm, I, uh, I've completed for the length of the leg but I'm not going to use it for actually joining. I'm going to show you how to work in that spiral. We're single crochet in each stitch, but then now when we get to that stitch marker, normally we would slip stitch to join at the beginning of the round, and this time we're not going to. We're just going to continue around, and then that will be another, another row for us to count for the rows of our leg, but we just pass right by the stitch marker like that, and it would just continue around and around in that spiral. Uh, we used a machine washable and dryable acrylic yarn for this project because uh, for a child's toy especially, you're really going to want to put it in the washer and dryer. Uh, one thing I would like to suggest though is if you're not going to make, if you're going to make the poodle for a small child, maybe change the buttons and put uh, just sew on eyes instead of buttons so there's no chance of them falling off. Let's talk a little more about the construction of the dog. Um, so the legs were joined uh, with single crochet. The pom-poms around the a trim of the legs are also single crocheted right into the legs. These are really cool. The yarn is actually a thread that has pom-poms every couple of inches and you work your stitches in the thread and the pom-poms just sit out next to, uh, in between the stitches. So that gives a really, really decorative trim to the dog. The tail is also single crocheted right onto the body and it's in fact it's worked in a spiral just like the legs as we described. The ears are worked separately and then sewn onto the head and the head is also sewn onto the body but after this uh, decorative sweater collar is worked onto the body but that's single crocheted onto the body. So the only pieces sewn on are the ears and the head. This uh, sweater body here, this is worked through the back loop only, which we've talked about in other, in other episode. And then the trim here is also worked single crochet right on where you work into that thread in between the pom-poms and then the pom-poms just sit decoratively between the stitches. And that's today's Crochet Corner. Knitting Daily. Make time for yarn every day. Visit KnittingDailyTV.com for free access to all of the project instructions, ideas, tips, and techniques from this season of Knitting Daily.